That was a good pop. Hi everyone, I'm Meredith Abbott and welcome to Sur La Tab. Today I'm going to be making an eggplant parmesan. For this recipe, I do want my eggplant peeled. Just a nicer texture once it's breaded and fried. So take the tops off, compost those, and now I'm going to take my nice big Y-shaped peeler and peel this skin off. I like a Y-shaped peeler because it makes quick work of thicker skinned vegetables. My next step is to cut these into half inch thick slices. So nice sharp knife, eyeball a half an inch. What is going to be most important is even thickness. So whatever you make that first slice to, do your best to use that as a gauge and make all of your slices so that it's all nice and even and cooks at the same rate for your end dish. So one slice, set it off to the side. Once you get to the end, if it's a little wobbly on you, you can hold it in between your fingers and your thumb and slice it just so you don't nip your finger, like so. So my eggplant sliced, now I'm preparing my breading station. I have my flour, my eggs that I've whisked, and breadcrumbs. I'm going to season at every step. So each one of these bowls is going to get a pinch of salt. And a pinch of pepper. Mix up the breadcrumbs with the seasoning. Same with the flour. Use your fingertips is just fine. Now I'm going to wipe off my fingers. And now for the breading. Start with one slice. Thinly coat it in the flour. This is going to help the egg and the breadcrumbs adhere. So you wanna lightly coat it, even kind of tap off excess flour. Dip it into the egg. Once it goes in, I'm gonna to switch to my other hand. Just get a thin coating of egg, like so. Drop it into the breadcrumbs. Top it with the breadcrumbs. Pat them in so they adhere. Make sure you get the sides, like so. Perfect. I have all of my eggplant now breaded. I'm going to clean up my space and get ready to fry them. So to fry the eggplant, I'm pan frying, which means a little bit of oil in a large skillet. I like to use stainless steel or cast iron for this for its heat retention. So enough oil down in the bottom to coat completely in a thin layer. I'm going to heat my oil until it's shimmering. And that'll take a minute or two. It'll start sizzling lightly here. So after about two or three minutes, it's time to check your eggplant to see if it's ready to turn. I'm looking at the sides here and I can see that it's turning golden brown. I'm going to use both a fish spatula, which is this tool right here. It's thin, it's flexible. There's lots of empty space here, which is great because any of the oil will drain through. And it's nice and thin and flexible so I can get under my eggplant slices. And then I'm going to use tongs to just help me turn them gently so I don't splash myself with oil. So I'm just gonna start with one. Slide your fish spatula underneath. Gently coax them over, like so. Great, I've got some nice golden brown around my edges. Just gonna flip all of these over. Got some sides that are a little dark, that's okay. I'm just going to adjust my heat then, turn it down a little bit more. 
So we stay with more of this kind of golden color, less with this darker. It's been about two minutes. I'm now ready to check my second side. I'm just gonna flip it over onto my wire rimmed. Perfect, golden brown, that is gorgeous. I'm going to remove these all from the oil onto my wire rack lined baking sheet. I just like to use my tongs to help me flip them. While these are still warm, I'm just going to sprinkle lightly with some salt. The warm oil will help the salt stick. Now I'm going to just keep repeating this process until I have got all of these fried. All of my eggplant is fried. I have my tomato sauce and all of my other cheeses ready to go. Before I start assembling my eggplant parmesan, I'm going to preheat my broiler and I've already moved my top rack down to kind of the halfway position. I want about 10 inches of space in between the rack and the broiler unit up at the top. First thing is to lay down a thin layer of the sauce into the bottom of my baking dish. I like a nice ceramic baking dish. This way, when it comes out of the oven, I can just take it to my table and serve it out of this baking dish. So I've got a thin layer of sauce down at the bottom, and I'm just going to shingle my eggplant slices. First, I'm going to lay down kind of the long row to see how many I could fit in here. And then I'm going to start like this, like a rooftop. Sometimes it's helpful to start with your large ones. This is kind of cooked casserole style. So you do want the presentation to look nice. So now I've got all of my eggplant laid out in here. I'm going to evenly coat the tops of them with the rest of my sauce. I'm just gonna lay down kind of spoonfuls at a time first, and then I'll go through and kind of spread it out. So now that I've got kind of a good layout of my first layer of sauce, now I can come in with the rest and fill in any gaps and spread it around a little bit. I do like to have a little bit of the breading poking out because that'll stay nice and crispy. So I'm not gonna cover the eggplant completely, but I am going to mostly cover them. It's going to leave a little bit poking out. Wonderful, I'm happy with this. Also, while it's under the broiler, things will kind of spread out a little bit. Before I lay down my mozzarella slices, I'm going to do a nice, even coating of freshly grated Parmesan over top. And now I'm going to lay down my fresh mozzarella slices over top, making sure to do it in a way where each eggplant slice will kind of have its own slice of mozzarella on top. I love cheese, so I want to make sure I use all of it. I tuck that one under. Great. Now this is ready to go into my broiler. Once it's in the broiler, you kind of want to keep a close eye on it. That is a lot of direct heat just coming down from the top of your oven. I want this to get nice and toasty, melty, brown and bubbly, but it can go from brown and bubbly to burned if you walk away for too long. So don't walk away from your oven. I'm gonna let it just get a little bit more brown. My eggplant parmesan is almost ready to go. I've got some light brown bubbles, and at this point, do not walk away. Keep a super close eye on this. Okay, look at that. You could take it a little longer, get some more bubbling on it, but honestly, I'm so hungry, I wanna tuck into this right now. So to finish, Take some more thinly sliced or chiffonade basil. Sprinkle over top. Just adds a nice fresh pop of flavor. 
There you go, beautiful. If you didn't want to chiffonade basil, you could always take some really nice basil leaves, tear it over top. I'm going to add just another little dusting of Parmesan. And this is ready to serve. Enjoy. For recipe videos, cooking classes, and more, visit surlatob.com.